I'm Tyler Rice. I'm Brett Jones. I'm Jack Jennifer. And we did Omaha Beef. <laughs> can't do this. We did that. Um, Should I start with the description? All right. The Omaha Beef is the longest running and most consistent indoor football team of all time. Uh, they have 12 consecutive seasons making the playoffs, and nine of those games were uh, home playoff games. Um, the team has a lot of Nebraska players and coaches, and then a few from the University of North, uh, not North, uh, Nebraska Omaha. <laughs> and uh, nine of the players was chosen to the UIF uh, All Star game. The Beef also re uh, received six of the nine available 2008 uh, awards, including UIF Coach of the Year, UIF Most Improved Player, Dance Team of the Year, Mascot of the Year, Game, of, game Operations, and Executive of the Year. The Beef always are active in surrounding communities and charities. Uh, they have donated in uh, 263 charities in 2010. They uh, actively are involved in the community, including uh, Thanksgiving turkey drives, diaper drives, Omaha Open ha Omaha Open Door Mission Food Drive, believe for the Beef Blood Drive, and then the players play their games in the Civic Auditorium and uh, the IFL Stadium. There. Objectives of our promotional campaign. Our, our objective for our campaign is to advertise the Omaha beef locally and offer coupons to like restaurants and such for buying our tickets to the football game. All of this is to boost our attendance at games and therefore increasing our budget for the overall team. We also try to increase concession sales by offering coupons on certain products uh, throughout the game with the purchase of an Omaha beef football ticket, of course. With this objective, we think we will help the team locally and uh, on a nationally level scale. We don't know if this will be successful, but at the risk we are willing to take, uh, we will increase attendance by an in estimated 25% over the first four weeks and then 35% over five the rest of the season. With the end of the season and the home playoff game, we will increase in attendance by 45% just for the The promotion will go for a total of one football season and a possible all season. Uh, there are a lot of activities going on to help uh, raise money and awareness for the beef. Uh, we have uh, DJ's Dugout is one of our sponsors, and they are allowing Tyler to uh, organize a wet t-shirt competition and the winner will get uh, season tickets and playoff tickets for home games. Um, Ticketmaster will be responsible for getting us those tickets. Uh, Brett will be organizing uh, like a fan festival thing for the kids before the game. They will be, uh, <laughs> Omaha Storm Chasers will be donated a speed gun. And it will be a competition that can throw football fastest. And I will be in charge of a pump pass kick thing that will also hand out free merchandise. Um, the budget, we will have clothing, <laughs> materials, and banners. We have a rough estimate of uh, those products. We will buy two 4x20 banners for $189. Uh, the, banner, the banners will be held up at the Century League Center, so when the uh, Creighton Blue Jays play, or the UNO uh, basketball team or hockey plays, they will see the banners hanging. We will also buy 5x10 banners, costing about $120. These are smaller banners, so they will be put up on patios of sports bars such as DJ's Dugout or Buffalo Wild Wings. We will order one 10x50 at the price of $1,000 a banner that will put up outside the, uh, outside the Civic Auditorium for the fans and the local people driving by to see. The re uh, we realize the banner is about $1,000, but it will bring a lot of attention to the auditorium and to the beef. The banner will hopefully lead to people to look up information about the beef, which will lead to our website and our promotion for the deals. We will also buy 10 2 by 4 uh, banners at $20 each. The banners will be put up around people at the games or local chairs. The last type of banners we will uh, get our five three by five banners at thirty six dollars a piece. These banners will go up at the same in the same type of places such as 
two by four banners. <laughs> they were just a little bit bigger. We will order 300 male shirts at $15 each, and we will put like certain custom designs on them. We will have 300 women's shirts such as, as well at $20 each. Um, we will have a variety of hoodies, 150 of them, of them, at a $32 price, along with $150 jackets at $44 each. Um, the estimated cost for all this would be $24,000. The overall budget for the ads and coupons will be $100,000. Plan on making this huge jump for the beef, even though it's very risky. Um, special events we'll do. For the Omaha Beef, we will have a fan night. Next home game at the Civic Auditorium, the theme will be black. And for whoever wears black, you'll get 25% off, 25 off your next ticket. And all the fans will be given a coupon that will give them access to the half-off prices on all food and beef clothing to the next game along with 10% off coupon on the, next, on the next ticket price. It's a risky move. <laughs> Advertise, advertising. The main type of advertising we will do is in, internet advertising. We will encourage the beef to make the step to advertise on the web pages for local sports bars and sport gear places. These places will consist of uh, old mat, the Old Mattress Factory in downtown Omaha and Nebraska Sporting Goods on 84th Street in Omaha. Another possible restaurant would be DJ's Dugout in downtown Omaha. Others, other advertising would take place in the Century League Century Link Center. Advertising banners would go up on the walls during the Creighton basketball games and UNO hockey games to spread the awareness of the beef. The banners would have the schedule of the team and the time players, pictures, and action shots. They would also have a list of accomplishments and win percentage. Uh, displaying this. On a fan night, the whole Civic Auditorium will have black and orange decoration. The railings will be lined with selected colors along with huge banners on the walls and with action photos of the players. There will be several mascots going on around meeting all the fans. <laughs> Outside the Civic, there will be orange and black banners on the auditorium and stringing the light posts together. Publicity, to make the advertising known to the public, we will send a press release to the news station around here. We would make a little ad that goes up right right before or after the new anchors, the news anchors. Come on the sports guy could say. <laughs> <laughs> the main publicity would just be <laughs> um, there are many benefits to this campaign. It will result in higher pay, higher net worth of the company in general, and an overall more stable program. The football players will not want to get paid more, but will have a better workout so they can uh, become more productive on the field and they'll get more gear. Uh, coaches will have a bigger budget for recruiting players, um, and the organization will be a household name by the end of the first season using this technique. Thank you. Okay, give them a round of applause. Stay up there. Do you guys have any questions for them? They were seriously laughing when I was even in the room. Okay, I tell them what you were doing back there then. I didn't even do anything. Really? Uh, really why did you choose the Omaha Beef to create a promotional plan for? Why did we let choose the Omaha Beef?